Wednesdays for three was full of surprises, like the Nets ending their 10-game home losing streak, Russell Westbrook going scoreless, and the Warriors losing for just the third time this year. The Nets took advantage of Carmelo Anthony watching in street clothes to end their 10-game skit at Barclays Center. Brooke Lopez got the better of his twin brother Robin, finishing with 20 points, 8 rebounds, and 5 assists in Brooklyn's 110-104 victory over their intra-city rivals, the Knicks. Joe Johnson hit two clutch jumpers in the final two minutes as the Nets won for the first time under interim head coach Tony Brown. Out West, Russell Westbrook was held scoreless for just the second time in his career. And a big reason why is that Westbrook was ejected in the second quarter after picking up a second technical foul following a dust-up with J.J. Barea. He was 0 for 3 from the field in 15 minutes, but Kevin Durant's 29-point, 10-rebound effort led the Thunder to a 108-89 route of the Mavs, who decided to rest their starting five. But the real shocker of the night was in Denver, where the 15 and 24 Nuggets took down the Draymond Greenless Warriors. Steph Curry scored 20 of his game high 38 in the fourth quarter, leading Golden State back from a nine point deficit with less than three minutes to go. Clay Thompson missed the game winning three point attempt at the buzzer as the Warriors fell 112 110. Golden State's now 36 and 3, that still ties them for the best 39 game start in NBA history. We'll close out Wednesdays for three with the NBA's longest active consecutive game streak coming to an end at 360. DeAndre Jordan had to sit out the Clippers' home tilt against the Heat with pneumonia, but his teammates picked him up. They earned the win their 10th in a row.